الرحمن الرحيم Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Are you worried that your kids are spending way too much time on those iPads and Android phones and the smart devices watching some useless contents? Well, the story is the same here. Let's go check what kids are doing. As usual, this guy is busy playing iPad. There they go, they started fighting. Oh man, look at them, there they go. And this goes on and on every day. But I have got a way to stop this and get them busy into something more creative. Hey guys, who wants to play solo robotic kids? Here are our solar robotic kits and these are specially designed for kids to enjoy building, tinkering and playing. This is solely to enhance their creativity level, enhance learning and of course making them fall in love with tinkering, creating, building and having fun. Check it out. These kits are specially built to enhance learning and to bring the creativity and ideas, tinkering, out in your kids. They simply love it. This will enhance their learning, creativity, and tinkering. So these are three solar robotic kits that we are going to build right away. We will start with one. Which one do you want to build first? Uh, we start with the bugs and the dinosaur one, right? There's a dinosaur and a bug. All right, so we'll start with that one, okay? And then we will start with Hadi's favorite, this one. And finally, we will go to the final one. Which one is there down there? Yes. So this is basically four in one. This is seven in one. And this is 14 in one. You can build 14 different types of robots, solar power robots. They also have a crab bot. <laughs> Where? Crab bot. It will move like a crab. <laughs> All right. So let's start working on it. All right. Let's open the box and bring the kit out so we can start building it. Okay. Tape. Here's a tape. The box was a little beaten. It came with the post, not DHL. I don't know why. So the box are a little beaten. Open it. Take the kids out slowly, slowly. Wow, check it out. These are the pieces. Anything else? That's I see it. the motor. And That's the user it. manual. I hope That's the user it. manual is not in Chinese. No, it's in English. Awesome. The good thing about these kits is that you don't need batteries. You do not need to charge anything. They are solar powered. And we have a lot of, lot of solar here in Dubai, UAE. Lot of, lot of solar all day long. I think you're good. Okay, all right, let's begin. Now, both of you remember, this is a solar-powered kit, okay? What does solar power mean? Mm. Because you can see here, they have a solar power board. What does solar power mean? See, there's a board here, okay? Now, this is a solar panel. See, this is a solar panel. Solar panel means, you know, get the power from the sunshine, okay? Because sun is a big star. Okay, it's full of energy, full of power. So when it shines, even then, we are millions of years away. But when the sun shines, it's still the rays, the sun rays, the sunlight has energy. We can take that energy, convert it into electricity, and build our robots and build our things that move with that energy. This means we don't need batteries. We don't need chemicals, we don't need gasoline, we don't need petrol. Every this kind of energy actually makes pollution. But solar energy is very, very clean, very clear. It's a green energy. It's environmental energy. So we can keep the environment very clean as well. So we don't need battery if we finish 
then the sun will use will give the power to this robot then it can start driving. Yes, anything that use solar power would use it will does. use power I from the sunlight. It, it will work when the sun is shining or a light is shining on the solar panel. Okay? If if there is no light, for example, at night when it's dark, then this thing will not work because we cannot convert the energy. Understand? Okay. So we need sun, or yes. we can maybe use that light. We can that try to use some dark. lights. Maybe light can convert into the energy as well. Okay. Oh yeah, there's one light outside. It. We can use big light, Baba's torch, the high luminance torch, which has a very bright light. We can convert that into energy using this panel okay but we need to keep it in the robot we need to keep shining on this panel so it will generate power and move this motor okay all right let's so let's experiment this yes thing. let's experiment first uh it's can you bring one. the torch where's the torch let's see come on here let's experiment let's see oh. see this motor is not moving now right see the gear is not moving let's try to shine a light on this panel See, the motor oh, no. moving now, right? And I moved the light away, motor is stopped, right? And here comes the light, see? Motor stopped moving, right? So this is how we convert the light energy into, you know, kinetic energy, but it's moving energy. See, honey? It's moving, right? Very inchy. Very inchy, yes. So our solar panel is working, right? Our sonar panel is working, now we can start building the robot, shall we? thing is that this gear part was the most difficult one to uh, for the kids to understand so I went ahead and helped my kids by building the gear I mean the gear module so this is the main gear module uh, B9 on the outside these big gears they basically lock everything and will not let anything move so after we have done the step 9 uh, assembling it nicely we can remove the B9s now yeah, you're right. It will fit in like this. This is a bug or bite. It's an insect. It will bite very. Bad. And then we will put another one on this to close it up. I need to go eat my cereal. Then you'll go make your cereal. But yes. Match it nicely. Right? Now we will put it, yeah, it is recording. We'll put it on the gearbox now. See? Gearbox, okay? So let me check. Piston, do you know what is piston? Like that railway engine moves the piston to move the tire so you see here these things they will be moved by motor up and down so this one will move uh, because of this rotation and will cause to uh, our bug to walk okay so it will be like circling uh, oh, wait, wait, that wait. one will circle but this one if will like move. this then it will be circling then it will be turning yes you then understand the bug Leg will move. Of course, now you understand. You're a genius boy. So this one goes here. Right? Yep. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Yes. Very good. Make sure it fits in that groove there. Yes. Very good. And this one here. Awesome. Very good. You did it. Now. Now we need to put the legs. Yeah, legs. Okay, let's get the legs out. Come on. Light is going down. Now we will not be able to move it once it's dark. It's a solar powered. Ready? So, 
See these two? They will fit here. Yeah. Like this. But I'll show you one, then you can put another. See? Like this. One. Mm. Have a hole for you, you put. My slipper, yes. Don't miss it. Okay, let me see. Awesome. See, very nice. And this one will go here. Okay, now this one. Okay, one. You don't need to use too much force, okay? Oh, don't bother to help you a little. Okay, good. The bug is ready? The bug is ready. Now we can move it. Hold on, let's clean up the table. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's shine the light on it. You do. You do shine the light on it. Come on. Yes. yes. Check it out. It's walking. <laughs> Don't let it go down. Yeah. Let it walk. Awesome. Check it out. Our first solar power robot is walking. Sweet. See, Irish Harry, you just built yourself a solar powered robotic insect. It can move the mouse also. It also moves the mouse. But you need to keep it very close. Yes, okay. Yes, see, this this is enough for it to walk. We don't need it. What a beautiful Ow. machine we Ow. have. It's me. <laughs> and when you move the light away, it will stop. When you give it the light, it starts moving. Ah. I think you need to get light in this board. If you don't have light, it will not move. Awesome. Okay, so we have built this and we played with this uh, little bug, which actually walks really nicely. Sometimes it gets stuck. I mean, the gearbox and gears, but it does work. All right, the next thing that I want to build is uh, this dinosaur, maybe. little dinosaur is ready this is a little t-rex check it out I'm shining a light on it now so it opens its mouth closes its mouth and walks as well now because we are indoors I have no choice but to use light but once you put these things in the Sun oh my goodness they are extremely powerful they work really, really well. So, this was our dinosaur and it was really, really easy to move. Now, let's try to build the robot man. gear comes loose. Alright, the drill part was really really easy. It was the easiest basically and now the drill is ready for the drilling operation and here we go. Shine light on it and it will start the drilling operation. So we are back to bug which was the best part of the kit and it actually worked very well as well. At the moment it's uh, not very powerful but outside under the sun this thing moves really nice and it's like you know fully powered. But hey what else can you expect in nine dollars? This is just a nine dollar kit that actually provides your kids hours of fun tinkering creating and playing with these things. So let's move on to the other kit shall we?
Anyway, so I'm trying my best to get my kids away from those smartphones, smart devices, iPad, gaming, watching videos online. All the time they're hanging on those smart devices. So I'm trying to get them away. And that is why I ordered these uh, solar robotic kits, which are very interesting for kids to actually build and see these robots in action. And for the first time, they are watching that solar power can actually move the robots. It's something very new for them. It is something that they are curious about. How do these things work? How amazing it is that when you shine a light on a robot that they build, and it starts moving. So these robotic kits do grab kids interest and keeps them busy tinkering, wondering how to build these and when they move them with the light source they are really really happy and their interest grows into these kind of kits. At least it keeps them away from those smart devices for a couple of hours and they can play with it later as well. So I will highly recommend for parents to actually grab these kind of toys either these ones, these robotic kits or there are other such robotic kits that are in the market and I'll keep introducing as these things keep coming because these are educational robotic kits they actually build they actually promote STEM learning they actually promote creativity thinking tinkering building creating and making your creation work in your kids and that is the best thing to keep your kids away from those smart devices that actually destroy their eyesight and destroy their interest in everything else they learn some junk stuff from online videos so these kids are the best thing to get your kids away from those devices and the best part about these kits is these are pretty cheap this is like eight dollars nine dollars ten dollars uh, if you take those 0.99 then this is nine dollar ten dollar and eleven dollars only they are not expensive either so basically cheap and quality components at least good enough for kids to keep busy keep creating keep playing with this thank you for watching the video um please thumbs up yes and and share it with your friends and and please subscribe do subscribe to our channel because we are going to bring you more of these solar robotic videos. Enhance your creativity and enhance your learning with our videos. Yes? Segway. Oh, Segway. Segway robots. That's, that's what we're going to build later. I think later we should build this dinosaur, right? Sure. Here.